Hello people, I am Jabby Kawai, joined by Achara is a big, beautiful, goofy, silly Kirk. And we're looking at Moss Mass action scene from Saira Narashima Reddy. Hashtag Sharon GV best ever fight scene. I asked Achara to ask for fight scene reactions that we should do from the Twitters. And this is one of them, but we didn't get to do it the other day. I remember this. I watched it in theaters with Katrina Alicia. And I had one regret, and that regret was Achara didn't see it. Mm -hmm. And so that is what this is for, because I've seen this before, a while ago, mind you. Achara is seeing it for the first time ever, and I'm seeing it for the second time ever. Here we go. What the hell is this? <laughs> See what the English did. Stop. Fuck the English. Damn red coats. He looks like Christian Bale. Oh, I thought that was the voice in my head. He does look like Christian Bale. Why is it an American flag? That's weird. Is it a British flag on top? I thought it was an American flag. I remember this from the trailer. Lady, you ain't seen nothing yet. You just wait. This is it's about to go nuts. That's so dope! <laughs> How we leaped over and cut the guy at the same time. Ah, oh, look at that That's slide. Cool. Boom, bitches. <laughs> I love the Hans Zimmer inspired music. That was a dope shot as it followed the dude into the yeah, ground. Yeah. Oh my god, it's so <laughs> dope. And he takes his gun, as he does the scar Joe. That's cool. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> I 
And he does a three-point landing? Oh my god. Uh-oh. I think your fencing style sucks, dude. Yeah, left you wide open. Fencing's dumb. Unless you're Sulu in Star Trek. Okay. Oh, you're in trouble now. Now you out, swordless, dude. bitch! I'm so oh, Okay. Too. Gotta be even. Even Steven. Look how close that punch was. Damn. That's good fight choreography. That's good fight movement because his punch was really close to his head. Yeah. Get it. Sli oh, no. Slightly anticlimactic there, but overall yeah. that was pretty cool. Oh no no no! Get away! I don't believe the English soldiers would ever do that. Do what? Shoot like that. What, you think they would wait for orders? They do some kind of stupid formation. That wasn't formation. No, it wasn't. It was haphazard. Oh, he still has his swords. I worry about that stuff though, because it weighs you down. You ever tried swimming with clothes on? That's the only way I swim. It's like reverse life saving. He can clearly hold his breath for longer. I would just stab him. copyright music that's the end of the fight scene so anyway yeah he cuts off christian bale's head that shit was so dope the resolution and the frame rate was kind of like it wasn't fully accurately representing the experience that i had in the theater watching with katrina alicia my god it was so amazing in theaters watching that fight scene here you get a sense of it that thing where he jumps off the rickshaw thing or yeah. the wheelbarrow yeah and does like the flippy thing with the that was dope. There was a lot of really dope movement and what I appreciated was that it wasn't like super dancey, do you know what I mean? It still felt like really gritty even though there was a lot of there slow motion some fancy and stuff. ass shit in there. There was, yeah, but like but the way awesome. the way he moved, it didn't feel overly balletic. Do you know what I mean? He still felt like a warrior with grace, if that makes any sense at all. I loved it. 
I thought it was cool. I was, it was dope. There's definitely an obvious comparison to 300 in there. Really? That I am not gonna talk about. I didn't say that. You oh. can just strike that from the record. Okay. Uh, all ears of the Indian audience. Yeah, no, there was definitely a comparison to 300 in there and the way that was shot, but I fucking loved it. I thought it was great. The way he drives his knee through the dude, through the wall at the same time, then it rolls out of it, it's like, Pah! You know, like, I loved all that shit. That was great. And the music, too, was so epic. It was like, here comes the hero. He's coming on his horse. It's like, whoa. And he takes on all of those Brits and kicks their asses. Okay, so the formation thing. I might be wrong, but the way the Brits fought in war was a very gentleman, scholarly way of approaching the battlefield. It's like, mm, everybody together. Yeah, okay, well, it's everyone. Like Ready, aim, and fire. That's like and, you made a date and then you showed up on time and you started. My point is, they the were thing. shooting haphazardly like a scared American, not a scared British. But they were all in a line in front of the doorway. They did not all raise and fire at the same time, though. They That's were stressed out, okay? This dude is decimating their numbers. And so they just ran to the back, got all their guns, and were like, oh, let's shoot right now. Look. Who has, the, who, who, has, who has more British blood between the two of us? You. You do. And so, therefore, you don't know. <laughs> you are less objective. What? Boom. Sense makes, totally. His sword has cool hilts. I like his weapons. I like that fight style. I mean, when Christian Bale came up against him with his single sword and he had two, it's basically a wrap because the fencing style as beautiful as it is, I don't really find that to be maybe the best form of sword play. Tell it to if, a French person. Well, if the other person isn't fencing, I feel like, I mean, I guess in, in some sense because you have a smaller area because fencing goes that way. So there's less like area to hit. You're, yeah. You're like a fish. That's the end down. No. Yeah, yeah you're like a fish. Fish well, this way looks big, fish this way looks small. Well, yeah, yeah, so there's less area to hit, but I feel like if dude's got two swords, he's got like an extra advantage because he could just be like, I got you, and you're like, I blocked it, and then he's like, plus a dagger. Somehow Obi-Wan fought that robot Jedi. But he has the force. They both have the force, and the robot Jedi thing had like four arms with four lightsabers. I don't... Okay, well that's what I'm saying. Like, this guy was clearly not skilled enough to take on another guy wielding two swords. I thought it was beautifully shot. I it thought was. it was beautifully fought. And you got the house N in there, who was like quite scared. Oh yeah. <laughs> I did think about that when I saw him. I was like, oh, uh, that guy was there's the Samuel L. Jackson character. From Jenko and Shane. Mm -hmm. So anyway, beautifully shot fight scene. I enjoyed the hell out of this movie. And you didn't get to see the I lovely lady in this film. But didn't. anyway. So what I was saying about the swimming in clothes, I do recommend you try it sometime. Because looking at that, and he's in the water wearing all that gear and the swords. And I'm just thinking in real life, that would have been really hard to swim. Because when I was in elementary school in swim class, there was one swim lesson where they got us to bring like our pajamas and shoes and stuff that we could get wet and they had a swim in clothes to simulate a situation where maybe you might be drowning and we learned life saving and stuff. The difference between wearing clothes, even just pajamas and wearing a bathing suit, it makes like a big difference. So that was pretty impressive. That's why you must always skinny dip. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Be sure to check out Achara Kirk on the social media. Do subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that Jennifer Sun bell icon so you get notified every time we drop another video. Check out our other reactions, reviews, short films, vlogs, and interviews. I am Jabby Kawai. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.